Allison is not Cersei. Allison Hightower is not Cersei Lannister. You know who is Cersei Lannister? Rhaenyra Targaryen. Now, first off, everybody named Shlees. I was recently online and I was just like, a lot of people were comparing Allison and Cersei. I guess the reason why, because they are the antagonist to our protagonist is because some people find Alice is greedy and corrupt and they find Cersei greedy and corrupt, but they don't see Rhaenyra. Now let's compare and contrast the characters. Alison has a overbearing father figure, just like Cersei. That's good. If you were to tell me a comparison of Otto and Tywin, okay, I see that. Now Alice and Cersei, what do they have in common? They're both women. Uh, They both have kids who are assholes. Uh, one's religious, not religious. I'm sorry, I'm blanking out as to why people see Allison and Cersei the same. When I see Rhaenyra, it's clear as day. Rhaenyra is Cersei Lannister. And people are like, how could you? Allison is the evil one. Allison is a bad one. The high towers are the evil ones. Rhaenyra is not. And let's go over the list. I mean, they both like to sleep with Kingsguard members, Rhaenyra and Cersei. Rhaenyra sleeps with Sir Christian Cole. A Cersei sleeps with freaking... Jamie Lannister. Now, what else do they do? They like to keep it in the family. They like to sleep with their family members. Rhaenyra likes to sleep with her uncle. Cersei likes to sleep with her Jamie, her brother, her twin brother, and her cousin Lancel. Third, uh, they like to have children with those family members. Fourth, they each have three bastard kids. All Rhaenyra's kids are bastards. Uh, Rhaenyra's kids by Harwin Strong are bastards. Uh, Cersei's kids by Jamie are bastards. Okay, what's up? They also have both kids named Joffrey. Odd coincidence. <laughs> okay, uh, they have, uh, besides that, they also are putting their bastard kids on the Iron Throne. Rhaenyra, if soon as she dies, as soon as she passes, she's putting the, her throne to Jaehaerys, her son. And what is Cersei gonna do as soon as Roberts dies? She puts her son Joffrey on. Do any of these kids have legitimate reasons to be on our drone? In the case, some more Rhaenyra, but the fact is they're both bastards, so they really shouldn't be on the Iron Drone. Okay, uh oh wait, uh, here's another favorite of mine. They both kill and imprison people who dare question the legitimacy of their children. And people say, What are you talking about? Look at Cersei when it happened with that star. Why didn't that star get arrested? Because he dared question the legitimacy of Joffrey. And Cersei and the Lannisters had him arrested. They had him executed. Now let's look at House of the Dragon. Who spoke out against them? Didn't like, oh, a Vaymond, a House of Valerian, spoke out about Rhaenyra's children being bastards? And what happened? He was supposed to have his tongue removed, but instead Daemon chopped off his head. So... Damon chops Vayman's head. Nobody, uh, no fans complain. People kill Ned Stark. We complain that uh, people complain a shitload. I mean, it's the same scenario. And in some cases, another point of another point I'm going to give to how they're alike because of their uh, stupid decisions, they essentially start a civil war. Now, the killing of Ned Stark led to Rob Stark fighting, but the ultimate reveal that Joffrey is a bastard that led to. The stand is that led to Renly both up both and being an uproar, both putting a claim to the Iron Throne, and that started a civil war. The the claim was challenged because of freaking Cersei's uh, relationship with her brother and not having legitimate kids. Rhaenyra's kid, Rhaenyra's uh, claim is going to be challenged because the fact is her kids are not legitimate. In some cases, well, to be fair to her, she was uh, going to be questioned either way just because she was a woman, but she didn't help the matters in her own. She didn't help herself by having children that are not even related to her first husband. So, I, I, I'm i sorry. Like, Rhaenyra has bastard kids. She puts them on an iron throne. They're both ca caused a civil war. She both They both execute people that dare question the legitimacy of their children. Didn't Joffrey, like, cut off the tongue of somebody in season two, the, like, the singer, because he there talked about the... Uh, questions the legitimacy of himself and how the his mother killed Robert. Didn't he have people's tongues removed for that? Didn't Rhaenyra support a, a, a law that enables anybody who dare question the legitimacy of her children will have their tongues removed? 
I'm pretty sure somewhere in the books, I think Veyman's uh, family members, the House of Lawrence, like there's five of them that disagreed and they call them the Silent Five or something like that because they both had all their tongues removed because the fact is they spoke out against Rhaenyra. I'm sorry, uh, who's the evil one in this case? Who is uh, more like uh, to uh, Cersei than, uh, than to Rhaenyra? I mean, like, who is more close to Cersei? It's obviously Rhaenyra. Allison is religious. Allison never sought the Iron Drone, ever. Her father won the Iron Drone. Different story. Cersei wanted the Iron Drone for sure. She wanted to be queen. She became queen. Rhaenyra, at a young age, I would say she confused the part of wanting the Iron Drone as to wanting her father's love. I think that's what she desired more. I think Rhaenyra and Daemon were similar in some cases because Daemon wanted... In a sense, the Iron Drone, but he wanted more his brother's permission, his love. Is there differences between Rhaenyra and Cersei? Yes. But some of the things that they do, some of their actions that they have done, lead to certain consequences that are very similar. This entire show has two periods. This entire Game of Thrones universe has two periods that have civil wars because of kids were bastards or because of certain aspects where people are being executed. There's just so many similarities between two different timelines as to why two civil wars happened. The thing is, though, a lot I know a lot of people are team black fans out there, and they believe Rhaenyra could do no wrong, and she, she had the right to the Iron Drone at the beginning, yet they can't acknowledge her, any of her flaws, any of the stuff that she does stupid. But Allison's the evil one because she's a, a, she taught, apparently because she's responsible... I, I don't know. Allison has been responsible since day one being queen. She uh, was trying to defend Rhaenyra before Rhaenyra uh, slept with Sir Christian Cole. I mean, I'm trying to compare Allison to Cersei, and yet I'm just not seeing it. I'm seeing nothing but uh, comparisons to uh, online. Allison is so related to Cersei. I don't understand how. Uh, are they manipulators? I guess you could say that. Are they schemers? Do they have people talking about the stuff behind the scenes i guess that's another thing but in all reality in all truth when you look at game of drones and house of dragon when people are saying oh allison is cersei no to me allison is her own unique character rhaenyra is her own unique character it's just i say she's a mixture of daenerys targaryen and cersei lannister daenerys targaryen was entitled and spoiled same thing with rhaenyra cersei is a bit of a bitch rhaenyra is a bit of a bitch I guess some people just don't see that. I guess it's just me. I mean, I'm just looking at the facts. I'm looking at the explanations. I'm just like, how, in what world do people see Alice and Cersei? But that's my personal opinion, everybody. Who do you think is more like Cersei Lancer? You think it's Alice and Hightower? You think it's Rhaenyra Targaryen? You think Rhaenys is like Cersei? Is there some character that you believe is a single counterpart from one time period to another? You think uh, any of these characters are related to another? You think some character in the past of House of Dragons is more relatable to Robert Baratheon? In some cases, his old family member looks a bit like him. But what's your personal opinion? Nature's least card for everybody. Bye-bye.